What's up YouTube, Nate here. I am doing a pickup video. One of the last pickup videos from the old laboratory. As you can see behind me, no shelves, no nothing. So I don't know how many people are actually gonna click on this thumbnail, but this is for you, the dedicated YouTube geeks. Thank you very much for supporting the Thrift Dwellers for as long as you have been. Hopefully the next pickup video will be inside my new game room, but I don't know because this has been a long, arduous process and it's taking a lot longer than I thought it would. But I was so excited. I picked up a lot of stuff in the past couple of days and I wanted to do it now in case it took a long time and I kind of forgot where I picked up things. Before we get started on the video, I actually wanted to share something with you. I was recently watching another YouTuber that I really like. Basically, our start as the thrift dollars on YouTube came from referrals. And one video that we really like, fellow Canadian, Michael B, the Game Genie, check him out. This is his Sega pickup video episode number one. And I'm going to officially name his intro the Sega Porn Video Intro. If you don't know what that means, you got to go check out his video. I'll put a link to him on the side of our page. So go check out Michael B, the Game Genie. Check him out on Facebook. Check us out on Facebook. Usually my partner, Lester, would be with me, but he is working. Good for you, Lester. And I'm running solo today. So this is actually, I picked this up today. Giant Tiger. It was 15 bucks. It is DJ Hero 2. Not a lot of people like this series or this peripheral, but I actually happen to enjoy it quite a bit. I don't know if it's my love for hip-hop music or what. But it allows you to do crossovers, like I think there's a crossover of, shoot, I can't remember, like Lil Wayne and Eminem, there's a crossover here with uh, Naughty by Nature and the Jackson 5, which is a pretty dope track. They actually have a Warren G song in here too, so this is brand new, $15, DJ Hero 2 for the Wii, awesome find, awesome pickup. All the games from Salvation Army are $2.99 minus 10% off for my student card. This is VeggieTales, Larry and the Bad Apple. $2.99. I also picked up for $2.99 Tornado Outbreak for the PS3. I normally wouldn't pick this up, but it's a PS3 game, so why not? At the pawn shop today, I actually got this for free. Demon Attack. I'm expecting some retro guy to tell me what it is. I got it for free because he threw it in with a bunch of the games that I bought today, so tell me if that was a good deal for free. But the reason I picked that up was because these games from the pawn shop were 3 bucks a piece. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks for the PS2, Mortal Kombat Deception, and Rygar. I remember this game on the Nintendo, so I thought maybe I should give it a shot on the uh, PS2. It's probably not that good. Um, recently at the flea market, there was a new vendor there. He had these cases. There's a bunch of these cases. I thought that these cases were transparent. I could possibly put labels in them, but I put, as you can see, Game Boy in there. And there's a Game Boy Advance game in there. And they look really nice together. These apparently are mini tapes, you would call them. Call them. They're actually free. The city of Winnipeg dumped out all their cases. They record every town meeting that they have and they store them in these cases. And they threw them out. So this guy is just in the back, picked up like a thousand of these. Sad thing is he always has to bust to the flea market so he can only carry like 10 at a time. So I made a deal with him every weekend. I would go Saturday and Sunday. I'll buy 10 from him at a time for 250 This one also was from Salvation Army. Apparently someone couldn't sell it for 75 cents, so I picked it up for $2.99 minus 10% off. Showdown, Legends of Wrestling. I'm missing the manual. And then I got this for free. Well, I got this for $1.99. Uh, it was Legend of Lagaya. But sad thing was, Inside, no case, or no game, and the game inside was, as you can see, Resident Evil Nemesis and Parasite Eve Disc 2. So I asked him if I could have the case for free, and he said, take the discs for a dollar, which I thought was bunk. So if anyone has discs for this game, or needs a case, hook it up, or give me a show, and we can set up a trade or something. Now that I'm looking at this video, I might do this in two parts, and I'm going to end off part one here with this, and then check out a part two. Salvation Army, I picked this up for $14.99 minus 10% off with my student card. It is a Street Fighter 4 fight stick. Plugged it into the computer, actually. It's USB, plugged it into the computer. 
I normally don't like to play Street Fighter with an arcade stick. I prefer the D-pad, but I couldn't turn this down. Like, usually these are 125 150 bucks. And actually, I don't know how much this one costs, but I'm pretty sure this one is above the $100 price range. Feels really nice. Buttons feel really good. Only problem is the R2 button didn't work. Opened it up and just cleaned it out a bit. And now it works. I don't know actually how many like world-renowned uh, Street Fighter you know, fighting game players use the D-pad. Every time I see them, they always use the fight stick. So, I don't know. Good to add to the collection, I guess. $14.99 minus 10% off. And there you have it. Part one, I'll upload a part two, which includes the Sega Saturn, so look out for it.